Hello, hello. Welcome to another Sunday update with Dom. Today, or rather this week has been a fairly uh, fairly good week. I, don't know, I just realized how weird it looks when I'm looking at the screen. <clears throat> yeah, let's start this over. Hello everyone, Dom here again. Uh, for another for another week, weekly update. Um, not that anyone cares, not that anyone's really watching. Um, I, I figured that uh, it'll be interesting for me to go back and look back at this time where, you know, I'm, I'm writing uh, this novel, Hard Bitten, and, uh, and see, like, you know, myself changing and what I've been, what I was thinking at the time. Speaking of that, my uh, my progress has has been okay. Um, actually, it's been poor. Like, I, if I'm going to be completely honest, have myself a, a harsh review here. I think, like, out of the five days this past week, I worked I worked three days, like three out of five days. I got a decent um, like an hour or so a day in, which is not saying much, but. Uh, yeah, whatever it is, what it is. The chapter continues. The dream continues. It's still January, and I'm I'm still thinking like, okay. I was thinking that I was gonna power through this book like all all the way like in um, November, and here we are in January, and it's not. I'm not done chapter three yet. At the same time, life has been progressing pretty well especially on the physical side, so I'm not too disappointed. Like, the, the, over the past week, the days where I wasn't writing, I, I was just resting slash um, exercising to, to get my body feeling up to the point where I, I felt like I could sit at the desk for several hours and, and not get too stiff. It's, it's kind of um, hard to, to build in these new habits of, like, okay, don't sit still, don't let your, don't let yourself, your shoulders slouch, because um, my shoulders are already slouched, and so now, I'm, I'm sure that um, a visit to the chiropractor or to the physiotherapist would, would be a help. But I was, I was talking to my mom, and uh, you know, I was talking, talking to her about this, and you know, I was saying to her how I can already see how I've been feeling better, and. I can only, I can really only look forward to, uh, you know, a year from now or like, you know, in, in, in summertime, six months from now, where I'm going to be at. Um, today's a nice day. Not too, uh, not too cold, not too windy. Decided to come out for a walk again. Um... <clears throat> I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, the glasses. Yeah, I got new glasses. I got the glasses fixed up from, uh, you know, courtesy of the Toronto, or rather, an Ontario welfare. Still, uh, still holding me down, but all right. I don't know. I don't. I think I'm not gonna keep that in. But I do like the new glasses. I'm glad to get the new glasses. Um, this upcoming week, what am I going to be looking at? Yeah, I guess I want to put the final touches on on chapter three of the book. Um, my romantic life is has like rejuvenated, I guess, from being being in in suspended animation to to now there's some there's some potentiality there i don't know where i'm going to be going with that but i'm i'm feeling good about it i guess good about getting back out there um 
career-wise, I want to, you know, I, I, I want to make some moves. This week, I'm going to send out, I don't know, some networking, a networking uh, request or, like, you know, try to expand my, uh, my network with more writers slash creative people because I don't really know anyone in the field anymore. I've been, you know, whatever on my own journey for the last like several years so I'm, I'm i'm hoping to get myself some professional um development there uh, a little bit nervous about it i don't really know what to say or like you know sometimes it's hard to to say like well, okay do i just tell people the truth because people could be very judgmental people are very judgmental so am i but i mean like yeah like they 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 judge and like they assume this is how things are going to be or this is who this person is or or you know just any, any anything along those lines or like you know like oh this person's not right for me i'm not going to um give this person a chance or whatever and i, I also believe that you know just because on, on the outside things don't look like you know perfect or like they don't look like they're going to work out well I think people should still take a risk, take chances, because that's the only way that they grow. And how else would you, you know, how else would you help people who have, who don't have any, have anyone else or have any help for themselves? Uh, how else would you be able to help them? Like, you know, if you don't, if you don't get, take that chance or like, you know, believe in them or believe in, in the possibility for people to, to do good. So, Hopefully this person that I'm reaching out to has that mentality. It does seem like they 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 work with like you know different people like help like doing I, I don't know, I kinda hate this term, but you know, helping out uh bi rate what was it? Black black indigenous POC, BIPOC. So I do fall under that category and hopefully you know, she can give me some kind of a, get my foot in the door, get my foot in the door in the industry. I think it would be really nice to be an intern or to do some kind of editing or whatnot, but we'll see. We'll, like, even if it just comes down to the fact where she just tells me some, some, some new, some new groups to, to join or, or something, I, I, I have a good feeling that I'll get some next steps out of it. And that's exactly what I'll need. What I need. Um, yeah, I guess um, that's really about it. I, I don't really have too much going on. I, I, oh, uh, a friend of mine is uh, hopefully today bringing over his dog, who um, I will definitely be be introducing to you all when I get the chance. But yeah, I'm supposed to be watching a dog for the next two or three weeks um, as a favor for a friend. And I'm really excited because uh, you know, I've never owned a dog before. And the character in my book has a dog or like, like is like, you know, and characterizing the dog has been like, or like not really characterizing the dog, but characterizing being a dog owner was is kind of like difficult for me because I've never been a dog owner. And, and it's not the same looking things up online or just using TV as an example. Um, I did have a cat growing up, but it wasn't, you know, it's not the same. So I'm kind of like excited to see how, you know, how I do taking care of this dog and also what kind of little, um, insights I can get from it. Oh, look at these geese. I don't know if you can see that. This is not going to be easy to see, but... Yeah, a beautiful formation of geese. The direction that they're flying right now is not south. Although they might be they might be turning down that way, or maybe they're just taking a break to to chill and follow the follow the park system or something. But uh, where was I? Yeah. Uh riding glasses dog. Yeah, dog uh dog this week hopefully and my, my friend's gonna 
you know, help me out with like, you know, the food and taking care of the dog or like, like, you know, all that. So I don't even have to worry about that, which is good because one of the biggest problems that I think I'm going to face if I ever do try to, you know, take care of a dog is the financial responsibility. But I do believe that I am ready in my life to take on some kind of financial responsibility. I mean, if I'm going to be dating or in a relationship, I will definitely need financial, um, like, you know, freedom or like some kind of financial income. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was just thinking, Valentine's is coming up quick. I'm probably going to need to get on that. But who knows, you know, the last little uh, while I've been realizing that my faith has uh, has really been paying off for me. Not not always like right away or like as, like like I don't recognize it at, at the time or whatever. But it does seem like uh, I'm meeting the right people. I'm 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 having the right mentality. I'm doing the right things, and my life is feeling um, more positive, more more hopeful, or or, or so. Which is good. Like I don't know. Um, the, the last, the last couple of years, I've definitely made, you know, lots of mistakes or like you know, I've struggled hard to climb out of it. I ran into you know a dealer that I used to you know buy buy stuff off of, and uh, he was happy to see me. Whatever. He looked okay, but uh, you know he was even like you know even I was telling him like yeah like it's been like that long since I've been. Um, I've been using and you know like whatever he seemed okay with it but like also he's like he was kind of disappointed you know like I could say like oh like for real like so you don't want my number again and stuff but yeah it feels good to like just be moving on and and not to to worry about your past because the past is always going to be there like you know I'm never gonna I'm never gonna ignore the fact that like I have, um, you know, m almost more of a more comfort around a around that part of society, or around broken people, or around. Well, I shouldn't even say broken people. That's that's saying it wrong because it's not so much that they're broken, but more so people that are like uh, able to, or that have the experience of, of pulling themselves out of like rock bottom or pulling themselves out of bad situations rather than people who like go through life kind of just in a more numb slash like non-triumphant state I don't really know how to explain it but I definitely do start I have started to see um, a little bit of a separation between me and and some of the, the people that I like you know that I was that I've been friends with um, even a little bit of separation between me and um, you know, like family slash like, like oh, like I used to, like, like, like I, like I, I saw certain things or like certain aspects of their behavior or or beliefs one way, and now I see it a slightly different way. Um, I, I, not really more separate, but just let, let's say just different. Yeah. So, I don't know. Thirty-two years old. different in a good way and uh yeah this week hitting chapter three if i'm if i'm if i do it real well i could maybe even write chapter four there's no reason to like hold myself back anymore i really need to get myself back into the daily practice of of writing <sighs> right now i feel i feel okay like just it's somehow like calming me down to to get my thoughts out into the video, but at the same time, it's so difficult just to to sit down at, at home and and get the get the, the words out. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I just end up reading and um, editing stuff that I did already. But even that's progress, so I shouldn't complain. Anyway, I, I want to cut this off before it gets too long. Um. Am I going to post it? I don't know. So, until next time. <laughs>